Hello everyone, my name is Jurassic Attic and welcome to a little extra video of the week. And today we're going to take a look at the new Wave 2 of the new Dino Tracker Minis. So without further ado, let's open the first one up. And before we get started, this new wave includes Spinosaurus and Dominus and some other um, minis that were originally just in the packs of the humans or in other sets. So it's a pretty good thing that they're releasing them a bit more individually. And very happy that they're finally releasing these two after like how many years since we last got those two? Like what, 2018, 2019? So very, very happy. And I mentioned that I really, really, really love the minis because they're... Uh, good practice to customize and hey you get you you get a little mini dinosaur so hey win-win so without further ado let's open the first one up and it is the majungasaurus and nazutoceratops now i already have these two because they were in the previous wave of the dominion um mystery boxes so definitely gonna paint these up or when next time I do a giveaway, they will be included for free. But yes, very, very cool. And also, oh, the Nazutoceratops has articulation. <laughs> so that's cool. So its head can spin that way, up and down. And I really, really like the naturalistic colorings um, that they gave it. And it's a brand new mole. It's not the male Nazutoceratops from the Dino Rival toys. It's like the, it's the female one. And another thing I really, really love about the mini dinosaurs, it's all rubber. It's all rubbery, gives it like a nice real feel look. So that's pretty cool. Majungasaurus to Majungasaurus, obviously nothing special there. The paint job is minimal and honestly just really not a big fan of the, of the, this Majungasaurus design. But yeah, I say we move on to the next box. So without further ado, let's go. And from that, we got the one and only Indominus Rex. And this one, I it was the one I was really going after the Indominus Rex. Because for one, I missed out on this mold in particular because the other mold that I have, which is time, which originally was clear plastic, but as you can see, I custom it to customize it to be more accurate. And well, I mean, not too shabby for 17 year old me at the time. And sadly at the time, these two were our best Indominus Rexes. Until we got the new Mattel ones, which I am very excited for the new one. <laughs> but yes, um, I freaking love the hell out of these two. And well, just the minis in general. They make for great little diorama pieces. Great for customizing. And just they're just great to mess around. And again, really, 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 really love the rubbery texture the new minis have and it really and i also really like the, the shiny metallic um paint they gave this indominus rex and also kind of gave it a thick neck but yeah really really love love this one a lot and well i think it's time to open the last one shall we and the last one seems to be Scorpivenator and Pentaceratops. The Scorpivenator and Pentaceratops may be the best one so far of this new wave of Dino Minis. <clears throat> For one, the Pentaceratops is big and chunky, like it's like super big on the palm of my hand. And I have gorilla hands, so that's quite big. And the Scorpivenator. Um, it has a new mold, kind of has like an Indominus-ish uh, back. I love the green that they gave it, the yellow eye. A lot of, and I do mean a lot of color compared to uh, Majungasaurus and the Nazutoceratops. And all in all, I absolutely adore these minis. I love them, love them, love them. They are, they're kind of mixed in with the first wave of minis I've been noticing when I've been going to Walmart. 
So if you guys see a box of the Minis and it has the first wave, dig around for a little bit because they're all mixed in together. And uh, before I say my final thoughts of these figure, I say we should get to size comparison, shall we? Let's. Here we have the Minis with the captives. Here we have the Minis with totally not next week's review. And here we have the Minis with the one and only Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, all in all, the Minis are great. They're, they're obviously not a Hammond collection. They're not the mainline dinosaurs. These are good if you just want to have a little pocket dinosaur. And maybe you, you see a little place to take a photo with. Or maybe um, you have ADHD like I do and you just want to fidget with something. <laughs> but, but yes, uh, highly recommend these. These are fantastic for what they are. Um, well, they'll personally kind of prefer the captives, but, but yeah, these are great. They're great for customizing. They're great for dioramas and they're great for taking everywhere. All in all, four out of five. And yeah, I've been Jurassic Attic. Hope you enjoyed this video and a happy Easter to all of you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Like, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Adios!